So this is one of those films, being honest, that I cannot believe got made. It is comedy, it's sci-fi, it's horror, it's mental, <laughs> and it's, you know, it. I love... I, I love that this got made. Can you sort of talk about the fact that this is a genre busting, not what you're expecting kind of movie? Well, I haven't seen it. Tonight's the first time I will see it. and But I think that doesn't really matter, right? I mean. Oh, you have to see it <laughs> to believe it. But yeah. I, from what I've heard, too, the way Larry um, used, you know, like he breaks the fourth wall a lot and stuff like that. I, I love that. I think that's. That's well, I think it's sure. a it, yeah, it's a movie that you really do want to see with uh, a group of people in a theater, which is nice. <laughs> you know that communal experience because <laughs> you you wouldn't want to sit home alone and watch this by yourself, um, and because uh, so, it's really sort of built that way. Um, yeah, I, I think that it was, you know, I was certainly uh, trepidatious uh, after I read it, and I thought it was funny, but I didn't know whether I wanted to do it. <laughs> and then, um, and then, you know, when uh, they said Larry Charles was doing it, and uh, we had a couple of Zoom meetings, and I was, yeah, I was a longtime fan of his and his work, and and um, I thought that was really interesting that he wanted to do it, and that he got what these guys were trying to do. And then, um, and then I still wasn't sure, and so I said, "I need to. I need. I can't agree to this until I meet the two guys. We have. Well, I'll have dinner with them." And then, of course, I fell in love with them, and you know, we spent four hours together. And um, so, you know, they're they're in you know in a in a world. In a world of, you know, insane political correctness and, you know, banning of books and don't say this, don't say gay, don't do that. You better not try, you better not do that. This was sort of refreshing. And and I love their chutz, their chutzpah, their their um, audacity, and and just uh, they don't really give a crap whether you like it or not. It's you know this. <laughs> They're, this is them having fun <laughs> with a, a, a particular genre. And um, and obviously they had done it for audiences, the two of them. There was a two-man show at Upright Citizens Brigade. So they sort of knew how it worked for an audience. And then, But it's a very different thing of being mm -hmm. in a 200-seat theater, preaching to the converted, and then to put it on a big screen and, and actually see sewer boys and, <laughs> in a cage. It's also hard to make a movie that is different, that just breaks out of the usual, yeah. you know, the usual norms and the superheroes way films and, are structured yeah. and what's okay and what's not okay. I mean, it's it's nice that there's something different and funny. And listen, I, I really mean this sincerely. You two are both fantastic in this, uh, but I do think it helped that you had the sewer uh, boys to work with. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I, I do. I think they added a lot, especially their avant-garde nature of their performance, you know. <laughs> you know, the sewer boys, first of all, <laughs> to find two sewer boys is the casting of that. It was, it was not since Scarlett O'Hara, the search for Scarlett O'Hara, the search for the sewer boys went on for months and months. And finally, because, you know, the, the problem was we were looking for sewer boys with tails. Right. <laughs> and uh, it's hard to find that. You can find sewer boys, but they don't usually have tails. You had a kind of a love-hate relationship with the sewer boys. Well, you didn't really have to work with them. <laughs> well, I did. I did. That's One, true. you know, Backpack and Whisper, that's their names. That's their real names, the two, the, the real sewer boys who played the sewer boys. They're called, they were called Backpack and Whisper. <laughs> right. I want to say that yeah. you did all your stuff with the sewer boys, right? Yeah. So we were shooting. It was the like the last day of shooting, last night. And you have the scene where, well, I don't want to like, okay, spoiler alert. Um, I, he has a scene where he says goodbye to the sewer boys. We were all crying. I mean, it was so good. It was it was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It was. Thank you. I want to ask you specifically yeah. about uh, having to feed them and the way mm. you feed them. Uh, you, have you seen the movie? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the uh, 
spitting of I I was uh, rolling. I really yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. No, he feeds them like a, a mother bird. He he chews up. It's they eat deli meat. They like <laughs> ham, and I chew it up and then spit it into their mouths. And they're in a cage, you know. So, um, so it's not like me. I had asked Larry if I could, you know, get stand over them and have them underneath here like a mother bird. But he said, no, <laughs> they can't move. They don't do too much. The sewer boys, they're, they, uh, it's extra. That costs extra to get them to move a lot. They mm -hmm. can do this a lot. But um, so he said, no, I want you to actually spit into their mouths from out, you know, outside the cage. So I said, you know, I said, OK, <laughs> that's uh, something. And um, they had did have one. The mouth could move on one of them, I think. At least they showed me that. Maybe it was just for close-ups or something. But his little mouth and little teeth could move up and down. <laughs> but um, that was thousands of dollars. And uh, um, yeah, uh, look, it's it's a it's a you know it's a it's a movie about uh, ultimately it's a movie about family. Mm -hmm. It's about people trying to create a family, mm -hmm. as weird as they all are, and they are all truly bizarre people they want a family i mean he's even though he gave up one of his sons <laughs> and just raised one of them because they had separated and she raised the other he found himself you know raising two sewer boys you know to replace that in his life and uh and so it's sort of it is sort of moving in its strange way that um, he cares so deeply about them. They're like rescue dogs, you know. I got to go, but I really can't wait for your reaction to this movie because it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. oh she's great in it. She's uh, hilar no, you, hilarious. You're both fantastic in it, for real. Thank That's you. For real, I got to go. 